Here's my setup for measuring the runout of my arbor combined with the runout of the saw blade. I've got a dial indicator and a magnetic base, and I'm probing on the saw blade just beneath the gullet so that the indicator doesn't get caught in each of the gullets. I've zoomed in a bit so you can see the indicator I'm using. This is quite a bit smaller than the typical indicator. Also, the typical indicator has a plunger that goes straight in and out. This one instead pivots, and I find this works well uh, for probing on a saw blade. To check the runout, you can rotate the saw blade, making sure you don't deflect it in any way. And you can observe the dial indicator. And in my case, over the full rotation of the blade, I've got less than a thousandth of runout uh, combined with the blade and the arbor. I've adjusted the camera again to show you why I've got less than a thousandth of runout, which is definitely less than typical. I've got a plate on here from Lee Valley. They no longer make this, but it has grub screws and using the dial indicator, I can adjust these grub screws, which apply pressure to the saw blade. And by doing that, I can minimize the amount of runout in the saw blade. And in fact, my arbor has more runout than I would like. So if I don't use this plate, uh, I get quite a bit of runout at the saw blade, which then leads to uh, a bit of roughness in the cut.